Surah 33 of the Meaning of the Glorious Quran, translated by Muhammad Marmaduke Pickthall. Surah 33, the Clans, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful, O Prophet, keep thy duty to Allah and obey not the disbelievers and the hypocrites. Lo, Allah is knower, wise, and follow that which is inspired in thee from thy Lord. Lo, Allah is aware of what ye do. And put thy trust in Allah, for Allah is sufficient as trustee. Allah hath not assigned unto any man two hearts within his body, nor hath he made your wives, whom ye declare to be your mothers, your mothers, nor hath he made those whom ye claim to be your sons, your sons. This is but a saying of your mouths, but Allah saith the truth, and he showeth the way. Proclaim their real parentage, that will be more equitable in the sight of Allah. And if ye know not their fathers, then they are your brethren in faith, and all your clients. And there is no sin for you in the mistakes that ye make, unintentionally, but what your heart's purpose, that will be a sin for you. Allah is ever forgiving, merciful. The Prophet is closer to the believers than themselves, and his wives are as their mothers, and the owners of kinship are closer one to another in the ordinance of Allah than other believers, and the fugitives who fled from Mecca, except that ye should do kindness to your friends. This is written in the Book of Nature. And when we exacted a covenant from the Prophets, and from thee, O Muhammad, and from Noah and Abraham, and Moses and Jesus, son of Mary, we took from them a solemn covenant, that he may ask the loyal of their loyalty, and he hath prepared a painful doom for the unfaithful. O ye who believe, remember Allah's favour unto you, when there came against you hosts, and we sent against them a great wind, and host ye could not see, and Allah is ever seer of what ye do. When they came upon you from above you, and from below you, and when eyes grew wild, and hearts reached to the throats, and ye were imagining vain thoughts concerning Allah, there were the believers sorely tried, and shaken with a mighty shock. And when the hypocrites, and those in whose hearts is a disease, were saying, Allah and his messenger promised us naught but delusion, and when a party of them said, O folk of Yathrib, there is no stand possible for you, therefore turn back. And certain of them even sought permission of the prophet, saying, Our homes lie open to the enemy, and they lay not open, but they wish to flee. If the enemy had entered from all sides, and they had been exhorted to treachery, they would have committed it, and would have hesitated thereupon but little. And verily they had already sworn unto Allah that they would not turn their backs to the foe. An oath to Allah must be answered for. Say, Flight will not avail you if ye flee from death or killing, and then ye dwell in comfort but a little while. Say, Who is he who can preserve you from Allah, if he intendeth harm for you, or intendeth mercy for you? they will not find that they have any friend or helper other than Allah. Allah already knoweth those of you who hinder, and those who say unto their brethren, Come hither unto us, and they come not to the stress of battle save a little, being sparing of their help to you, believers. But when the fear cometh, then thou, Mohammed, seest them regarding thee with rolling eyes, like one who fainteth unto death. Then, when the fear departeth, they scald you with sharp tongues in their greed for wealth from the spoil. Such have not believed. Therefore Allah maketh their deeds fruitless, and that is easy for Allah. They hold that the clans have not retired for good, and if the clans should advance again, they would fain be in the desert with the wandering Arabs, asking for the news of you, and if they were among you, they would not give battle save a little. Verily in the messenger of Allah ye have a good example for him who looketh into Allah in the last day, and remembereth Allah much. And when the true believers saw the clans, they said, This is that which Allah and his messenger promised us. Allah and his messenger are true. It did but confirm them in their faith and resignation. Of the believers are men who are true to that which they covenanted with Allah. Some of them have paid their vow by death in battle, and some of them are still waiting, and they have not altered in the least. That Allah may reward the true men for their truth, and punish the hypocrites if he will, or relent toward them, if he will. Lo, Allah is forgiving, merciful. And Allah repulsed the disbelievers in their wrath, they gained no good. Allah averted their attack from the believers. Allah is ever strong, mighty. And he brought those of the people of the scripture who supported them down from their strongholds, and cast panic into their hearts. Some of ye slew, and ye made captive some. 
and he caused you to inherit their land and their houses and their wealth, and land ye have not trodden. Allah is ever able to do all things. O Prophet, say unto thy wives, If ye desire the world's life and its adornment, come, I will content you and will release you with a fair release. But if ye desire Allah and his messenger and the abode of the hereafter, then, lo, Allah hath prepared for the good among you an immense reward. O ye wives of the Prophet, whosoever of you committeth manifest lewdness, the punishment for her will be doubled, and that is easy for Allah. And whosoever of you is submissive unto Allah and his messenger, and doeth right, we shall give her her reward twice over, and we have prepared for her a rich provision. O ye wives of the Prophet, ye are not like any other women. If ye keep your duty to Allah, then be not soft of speech, lest he in whose heart is a disease aspire to you, but utter customary speech, and stay in your houses. Bedizen not yourselves with the bedizement of the time of ignorance. Be regular in prayer, and pay the poor due, and obey Allah and his messenger. Allah's wish is but to remove uncleanness far from you, O folk of the household, and cleanse you with a thorough cleansing. And bear in mind that which is recited in your houses of the revelations of Allah and wisdom. Lo, Allah is subtle, aware." Lo, men who surrender unto Allah, and women who surrender, and men who believe, and women who believe, and men who obey, and women who obey, and men who speak the truth, and women who speak the truth, and men who persevere in righteousness, and women who persevere, and men who are humble, and women who are humble, and men who give alms, and women who give alms, and men who fast, and women who fast, and men who guard their modesty, and women who guard their modesty, and men who remember Allah much, and women who remember, Allah hath prepared for them forgiveness and a vast reward. And it becometh not a believing man or a believing woman, when Allah and his messenger have decided an affair for them, that they should, after that, claim any say in their affair, and whoso is rebellious to Allah and his messenger, he verily goeth astray in error manifest. And when thou saidst unto him, on whom Allah hath conferred favour, and thou hast conferred favour, keep thy wife to thyself, and fear Allah, and thou didst hide in thy mind that which Allah was to bring to light, and thou didst fear mankind, whereas Allah hath a better right than thou shouldst fear him. So when Zayd had performed that necessary formality of divorce from her, we gave her unto thee in marriage, so that henceforth there may be no sin for believers in respect of wives of their adopted sons, when the latter have performed the necessary formality of release from them." the commandment of Allah must be fulfilled. There is no reproach for the Prophet in that which Allah maketh his due. That was Allah's way with those who passed away of old, and the commandment of Allah is certain destiny. Who delivered the messages of Allah and feared him, and feared none save Allah? Allah keepeth good account. Muhammad is not the father of any man among you, but he is the messenger of Allah and the seal of the Prophets, and Allah is ever aware of all things. O ye who believe, remember Allah with much remembrance, and glorify him early and late. He it is who blesseth you, and his angels bless you, that he may bring you forth from darkness into light, and he is ever merciful to the believers. Their salutation on the day when they shall meet him will be peace, and he hath prepared for them a goodly recompense. O prophet, lo, we have sent thee as a witness and a bringer of good tidings, and a warner, and as a summoner unto Allah by his permission, and as a lamp that giveth light. And announce unto the believers the good tidings, that they will have great bounty from Allah. And incline not to the disbelievers and the hypocrites. Disregard their noxious talk, and put thy trust in Allah. Allah is sufficient as trustee. O oh, ye who believe, if ye wed believing women, and divorce them before ye have touched them, then there is no period that ye should reckon. But content them, and release them handsomely. O oh, prophet, lo! We have made lawful unto thee thy wives, unto whom thou hast paid their dowries, and those whom thy right hand possesseth, of those whom Allah hath given thee as spoils of war, and the daughters of thine uncle on thy father's side, and the daughters of thine aunts on the father's side, and the daughters of thine uncle on the mother's side, and the daughters of thine aunts on the mother's side, who emigrated with thee, and a believing woman, if she give herself unto the prophet, and the prophet desire to ask her in marriage, a privilege for thee only not for the rest of believers. We are aware of that which we enjoined upon them concerning their wives, and those whom their right hands possess, that thou mayest be free from blame, for Allah is ever forgiving, merciful. 
Thou canst defer whom thou wilt of them, and receive unto thee whom thou wilt. And whomsoever thou desirest of those whom thou hast set aside temporarily, it is no sin for thee to receive her again. That is better, that they may be comforted and not grieve, and may all be pleased with what thou givest them. Allah knoweth what is in your hearts, O men, and Allah is ever forgiving. Clement. It is not allowed thee to take other women henceforth, nor that thou shouldst change them for other wives, even though their beauty please thee, save those whom thy right hand possesses. And Allah is ever watcher over all things. O ye who believe, enter not the dwellings of the Prophet for a meal without waiting for the proper time, unless permission be granted you. But if ye are invited, enter, and when your meal is ended, then disperse. Linger not for conversation. Lo, that would cause annoyance to the Prophet, and he would be shy of asking you to go. But Allah is not shy of the truth. And when ye ask of them, the wives of the Prophet, anything, ask it of them from behind a curtain. That is purer for your hearts and for their hearts. And it is not for you to cause annoyance to the Messenger of Allah, nor that ye should ever marry his wives after him. Lo, that in Allah's sight would be an enormity. Whether ye divulge a thing or keep it hidden, lo, Allah is ever knower of all things. It is no sin for them, thy wives, to converse freely with their fathers, or their sons, or their brothers, or their brothers' sons, or the sons of their sisters, or of their own women, or their slaves. O women, keep your duty to Allah. Lo, Allah is ever witness over all things. Lo, Allah and his angels shower blessings upon the Prophet. O ye who believe, ask blessings on him, and salute him with a worthy salutation. Lo, those who malign Allah and his messenger, Allah hath cursed them in the world and the hereafter, and hath prepared for them the doom of the disdained. And those who malign believing men and believing women undeservedly, they bear the guilt of slander and manifest sin. O Prophet, tell thy wives and thy daughters and the women of the believers to draw their cloaks close round them when they go abroad. That will be better, so that they may be recognized and not annoyed. Allah is ever forgiving, merciful. If the hypocrites, and those in whose hearts is a disease, and the alarmists in the city do not cease, we verily shall urge thee on against them, when they will be your neighbours in it but a little while. Accursed, they will be seized wherever found, and slain with a fierce slaughter. That was the way of Allah in the case of those who passed away of old. Thou wilt not find, for the way of Allah, aught of power to change. Men ask thee of the hour, say, The knowledge of it is with Allah only. What can convey the knowledge unto me? It may be that the hour is nigh. Lo, Allah hath cursed the disbelievers, and hath prepared for them a flaming fire, wherein they will abide for ever. They will find then no protecting friend nor helper. On the day when the faces are turned over in the fire, they say, Oh, would that we had obeyed Allah, and had obeyed his messenger. And they say, Our Lord, lo, we obeyed our princes and great men, and they misled us from the way. Our Lord, oh, give them double torment, and curse them with a mighty curse. O ye who believe, be not as those who slandered Moses, but Allah proved his innocence of that which they alleged, and he was well esteemed in Allah's sight. O ye who believe, guard your duty to Allah, and speak words straight to the point. He will adjust your works for you, and will forgive your sins. Whosoever obeyeth Allah and his messenger, he verily hath gained a signal victory. Lo, we offered the trust unto the heavens and the earth and the hills, but they shrank from bearing it and were afraid of it. And man assumed it. Lo, he hath proved a tyrant and a fool. So Allah punisheth hypocritical men and hypocritical women, and idolatrous men and idolatrous women. But Allah pardoneth believing men and believing women, and Allah is ever forgiving, merciful. End of Surah 33